The first thing you need to do to have good oral hygiene is to make sure you brush your teeth. So you need to brush your teeth twice a day, in the morning and at night. Last thing at night before you go to bed. A lot of us will brush our teeth at night and still we put on chocolates, biscuits, cookies, and that's wrong. You're literally um, um, ruling out the effect of toothbrushing before you sleep. So last thing at night before you sleep, you wake up in the morning, you rinse your mouth with water. Why? Because your mouth is said to be full of harmful open holes because of course you brush before you had your before you went to bed. Um, so you wake up in the morning, you rinse your mouth, you have your breakfast, and then you brush. Why? Also because you're trying to reduce the time you'd have for food particles to stay or food deposits rather to stay in your mouth and also reduce the bacterial load before the next time you brush it. But the right way to brush your teeth is to angulate your toothbrush. 45 degrees to your teeth. Um, this is 90 degrees, right? Fine. So 45 is half of that. Angulate your toothbrush 45 degrees of, um, to your teeth and then you sweep. So you don't scroll. You sweep. It should be able to get in this margin, the margin between your tooth and the gum. So it, as you're sweeping at that 45 degrees, it's going in between the space. The space between your tooth and the gum, and then it's cleaning it. So it helps in removing all food debris that is stuck there. The same thing for the next quadrant. You sweep now. We say open your mouth with it, and then you sweep. So for the octave, you sweep down. 45 degrees, right? And for the lower teeth, you sweep up the direction at which the teeth is going. So this and this. Because five degrees to your teeth. Now don't forget to brush the inner surface of the teeth. So the same 45 degrees, you sweep out. You still sweep it. Out, 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 out. For the upper one too, you sweep down. Down, down. Forty five degrees, you sweep. And very important, um, the biting surface of your teeth. These surfaces have what we call peaks and fissures. If you put your tongue along your teeth, you feel like these little depressions there. Those depressions actually take and hold or trap food particles. So you have to be able to brush them. So for these surfaces, you scrub. You must scrub them. You must scrub them. And, here. and then don't forget your tongue. You have to brush your tongue. Spend at least eight minutes scrubbing and cleaning your tongue. Another test you can do at home to make sure that your teeth is perfect is when you're done cleaning, take your tongue, run around with it. You would feel it, um, it would give that squeaky feeling, right? If it doesn't give that squeaky feeling, then it's this. Go back and brush your teeth. It's actually said that you should spend at least two minutes brushing your teeth in the morning and at night. That way you're very sure that your teeth will be clean. However, cleaning your teeth twice a day does not guarantee that you would be able to do it adequately. So, we would also recommend you see your dentist twice a day. Make sure you stop using toothpick. We have toothpick in the house. Throw it in, inside the bush. For the forest. <laughs> Make sure you throw it away. And use your dental floss. Um, one of the advantages of using dental floss is that it cleans your teeth and does not destroy your gum. And does not destroy the interdental bone. So it's preservative in nature. So um, I'm going to demonstrate using this model. So you start from the top and then you go down. You can see that it's not trying to destroy the gum. It will stop at the gum line and then it points it to it. However, and you don't use this sharp side really. But let's assume this is a um, toothpick since we don't have toothpick in between. You can see that. First of all, it might not be able to go in properly. So for it to go in properly, I keep turning and turning and turning, right? That turn and turn and turn destroys the interdental bone. The chewing sticks are not good. I do not recommend them because they are hard, right? And hard substances cause what we call abrasion. You are scrubbing your teeth with wood. What do you expect? Over time, the enamel Right, you begin to lose its substance and you begin to have what we call abrasion. So 
being armor begins to wear off and then you have your dentin, which is the second layer of your tooth being exposed. Once that second layer is exposed, the next thing that comes to into play is sensitivity, teeth sensitivity. You start having shocking sensations when you drink water, even to air, you just, it shocks you. Yeah. The right amount of toothpaste to use when brushing your teeth has been controversial, but it's supposed to be the size of your pinky, the nails of your, on your pinky finger. This is my pinky finger. The size of this nail, that's your pea size. Very little. If you like, put the toothpaste to cover the entire bristle layer of your toothbrush. The trick is the um, amount that is needed to clean your teeth is what we clean your teeth. Um, for toothpaste, we usually we advise, it is recommended that your toothpaste must have fluoride. Herbal toothpaste do not have fluoride. Uh, there are certain cosmetic toothpaste too that do not have fluoride. So the first thing you want to check when you get your toothpaste is you go to the ingredients and you check is there anything like fluoride? There should be sodium fluoride at least. If there is nothing like that, no fluoride in your toothpaste, then please throw it away because it's not protecting your teeth against cavities, neither is it enriching the strength of your teeth or providing it with adequate nutrients that would help it, you know, stand the test of 